Speaker, the American president has implemented a ban on all individuals from a number of Muslim countries. There have been no justifications offered, but we all know that there can be no justification for this. Does the Prime Minister agree that this targeting of people, based on their religion or place of birth, is an affront to our shared values as Canadians and supporters of human rights across the world? Honourable Prime Minister. I will always stand to defend the Canadian values of openness, uh, of diversity that we cherish so much, that we understand uh, are essential not just uh, to our success in the past, but our success in the future. We are a strong, united people that are generous and open because we've seen how much uh, openness to the world and diversity not only makes us more prosperous, but more safe as a country and as communities. I will continue to stand for Canadian values uh, any chance I get in this House and elsewhere. Canadians are alarmed and outraged by Pre President Trump's immigration and travel ban. Inscribed on the Statue of Liberty are the words, give me your tired, your poor, and your huddled masses. But now it falls to other nations to step up and provide shelter to those fleeing violence and persecution. Yeah, yeah. Canadians are staunch defenders of human rights who reject a ban based on race, religion, or place of birth. Will Canada do its part and immediately lift the 1,000 application cap on privately sponsored refugees. Yeah. Honourable Minister of Immigration. Mr. Mr. Speaker, the 1,000 cap on refugees only applies to group of five members. There's other avenues, sponsorship agreement holders and others, where uh, the, the Honourable Member must know that you can use to sponsor privately sponsored refugees. Our immigration levels plan for 2017 includes a historic level of 16,000 uh, spots for refugees, and that is something that we can be very proud of. 